Sheila Cervix here reporting on the scene for GSL News. We're actually at the University of Toledo's 10th annual Unity Celebration for Dr. Martin Luther King. We were not able to get the cameras in during the actual event, but we did get into the event afterwards to talk to some of our keynote speakers like Mike Bell and Mar Marcy Kaptur. So let's go ahead and get in there and see what we can find out. Well, of course, today we had a major, major celebration for the Martin Luther King holiday at the University of Toledo. So much, uh, so much black history in this room right now. I can feel it. It's like a surge of blackness. Well, they were doing a lot of like t telling us how we should have like a dream and like a big dream. And like I personally, I do have a dream. I want. What is what is your dream? I want to become a nurse and also publish a book. You know, I always wondered if Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks ever got it on. We might be able to find that out today. It's basically about, like, dimensional travel and superpowers. And uh, obviously, we're at the MLK Day, and I'm actually standing here with this beautiful lady. She's dressed all in pink. What is your name? Rosalise. Rosalise. And uh, why did, what motivated you to come to this event today? I didn't come here on time, but... Uh, um, I've been going to university for a long time, and I got a 19,000-some-dollar 19, dollar scholarship a long time ago, and I got $300 for income tax check for going to school, getting all A's on the computers for social work and tests. That's awesome. See, she is she's a grade-A student. Do you think I could get some of those superpowers? No. <laughs> was, unless you travel dimensions. And I actually have two of my really good friends here. This is Carl Nelson. And uh, what, was your, what was your name, sir? Derek. Derek. Womack. Derek Womack. And uh, I have a question for you guys. Do you guys actually know why we celebrate Martin Luther King Day on the third Monday of January? Well, this was an MLK uh, tribute, uh, basically talking about unity, um, one world, one people, and trying to figure out how we can come together to, to make uh, the quality of life of everybody better. What are your guys' dreams? <laughs> I want to graduate. <laughs> I have one semester left. I want to be an inner city teacher. An inner city teacher. Look, at he's got goals. I'm hoping that you don't get, like, assassinated by accident because, you know, inner city is kind of rough. I heard you guys spoke a little bit about dreams. What was your original dream? Did you always want to be a mayor? No. My, my only dream has been to do the best I can and to always try to do something that makes my parents proud. That's that, makes, that makes it really easy. That's really, really awesome. You know what my dream is? What's your dream? My dream is to grow a mustache a little bit like yours. Yeah. How did you do it? <laughs> uh, I don't know any history behind that, but, uh, I mean, why not come out? Do you, do you think that possibly, by any chance, Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks ever got it on? No. How could you be so sure? Maybe in the back of the bus? <laughs> There were thousands of people here from across our region, and it was a message of unity, uh, of taking the in inspiration of Dr. King and moving it into the modern era. And the young people that were here today inspire me. There was an emphasis on learning, on engagement with the community, on bringing the best that is in each of them, and we were just talking about dreams, and each of these students yeah. has a dream. Yeah, she has a here. book. She has a book. She's writing about dimensions and supernatural activity. Dre Sav's old counselor. What is your name, sir? Larry Jones. He said his name is Larry Jones. And uh, where did you get this coat today? But I get this coat. Oh, I can't tell you that. That's a hidden secret. Oh, it's a hidden secret. Yeah. Did you? Are you sure you didn't hunt it yourself? No, no, not quite. Not quite. But I, but it's very snazzy, though. Many animals died that I might have. How many squirrels must die for you to look fly? What, what, what kind of shoes do you think Dark, Dr. Martin Luther King wore during the march? He had to wear something comfortable. I think he was a Stacey Adams man. I think he was more of a Nike man. What do you think? Um, I want to say Gators. Gators. Gators and Stacey Adams. That's the best you guys got? And uh, what motivates you? Does Martin Luther King mo motivate you? Yes. He, he's my... My, he's my favorite idol. When I was in Martin Luther King High School on Kingwood, on, on Woodruff, he was uh, at Martin Luther King, he used to paddle me when I was a little girl. And Martin Luther King used to do the spanking. Thank you so much. Man, they didn't have Jordans back in the day. You don't know that? <laughs> Not in the 60s. Were you around in the 60s? <laughs> no, but I know. <laughs> he knows for sure that there were no Jordans or Nikes in the 60s. Okay, there were the, the, okay, look. Jordan came out in the 80s. 
But look, 82 to be exact. You still had the Nike company though. It may not have, you know, been the Jays or the Forces. It may have been like the pre Forces. He has to be the most gangster white boy I've ever met in my life. Carl Nelson, everyone. <laughs> Hide your kids. It looks like we've met Rollo Goodlove, everyone. Because he changed the nation. He had a dream, and we're working for that dream. I'm thinking that it's the reason why we're celebrating today is because he knocked boots with Rosa Parks. It's Rollo Goodlove's birthday. It's Rollo Goodlove's birthday. Let's see if we can get an interview. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? My name is Sheila Cervix from Game Savvy can... Late Night. I love your hair and I love your coat. Can you please tell me who put together your ensemble today? Uh, I, I did. <laughs> you put your ensemble together today. And what was the inspiration? Uh, just being me. <laughs> just being you. Martin Luther King did not influence you at all. No, not at all. Not he at looks all. like he might wear an outfit like that. Yeah. I don't know. He should take note. <laughs> I received that. What's your name, sir? My name is Derek E. Roberts. Derek E. Roberts. He is looking hot today. Well, thank oh. you. I received that. That makes me feel really good. I just of course. Today is my birthday. That's my job. Happy birthday to Rollo Goodlove. Yes. The black and white check, checkerboard checkerboard mink. Where did you get this coat today, sir? <laughs> well, I searched around. enough. It's one of a kind. It's one of a kind. Are you sure you didn't hunt it yourself? I'm positive. <laughs> well, let's just say the black people came out stepping today. What am I supposed to say now? I just thank you. I'm 59. Thank you. I'm actually standing here with the valedictorian of St. Francis de Sales High School. The first ever black valedictorian. What's your name, sir? Keon Pearson. Keon Pearson. And that means you're probably really smart. Uh, a little. Yeah, I guess I could say that. What was your grade point average? Uh, it's somewhere over five. I don't know what it is exactly at this point. Yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> right there. There. He's an honors student. It's, it's, he's smart. I'm telling you, smarter than me. I only graduated with a 2.7, but that's just me. We're standing here with Minnie Danny Curry, and uh, she has something to say. Why do we celebrate Martin Luther King Day today? Thank you so much. We celebrate Martin Luther King Day because of Nicki Minaj. Thank you so much, Minnie Danny Curry, Nicki Minaj. Um, where are your college plans? Oh, I'm planning to go to Harvard, and then uh, after majoring in um, molecular biology, going to Johns Hopkins for medical school. Well. He's going to be a doctor. Maybe you'll be able to tell us a little bit about Four Locos, which we discussed last time. <laughs> well, take, don't drink them. Do not drink them. You can use them for your fuel. Don't drink them. You can, use four, you can use Four Locos <laughs> for your fuel? Well, they're using it for fuel. Wow. The alcohol, I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, I drank a Four Loco on Thursday before I got tased at the Omni. It was really interesting. <laughs> so you guys work every single event, and you clean up after us. Yep. How does it pay? Yeah, how does that pay? Enough. <laughs> We've got a live one. Black people in their natural habitat, buffet style. How was the food? The food was wonderful. They have done a wonderful job preparing all of this to celebrate Martin Luther King Day. A game savvy late night. My name is uh, Risa Govaya. What's your name? Linda Taylor. Linda Taylor. And your name? Kathy Faulkner. Okay, and it uh, looks like you guys are enjoying the food today. How was it? It's real good. So black people can cook. They can cook. Black people can cook. Get good old-fashioned soul food cooking. Thank you so much. I don't think it's okay. We will not sit in the back of the bus, and you cannot eat our soul food. Are you all black? No, I'm mixed. White You're mixed? White, yep. White and black? 50 /50. She's white and black 50-50. Well, this is one sexy mulatto. Shout out to the Zetas. Wave. That's Game Savvy Late Night. Thank you for coming out. Hey, that's my friend Noel. We're really good friends. The food was amazing. You know, black people really do know how to cook. <laughs> That's right. Hey, UT basketball players, I have a question. Why can't you guys win a game? This is such a unity. I'm, I'm just excited. It's such a unity. Do you guys work with unity as a team to clean all this shit up? Yeah, I could definitely say we do that. I didn't get to see the event. I decided to come in to clean up afterwards. He didn't see the event. So I guess, you know, it really isn't necessary for them to come to Martin Luther King Day. They got to sit in the front of the bus. Now they're cleaning up after us. Shield Cervix, Game Savvy Late Night.